Hey guys, so in this video we're looking at an example on submerged surfaces. So here's a similar set out to the videos where we derived the equations for the resultant force and the point of action formula. So here we've got an isosceles triangle, um, a slanted uh, surface under a fluid which is water at 20 degrees Celsius. We've been given a few distances here which we'll need and we've been asked to find the resultant force on the triangle due to the fluid and the distance from the vertex of the triangle to the point of action. So we're going to be using FR equals rho g a y c sine theta. In this case we won't have to derive the formula, we're just utilizing it and we're going to sub in uh, values for each of these things each of these terms, we're going to have to find them first. So rho for water at 20 degrees Celsius, we know to equal 998 kilograms per meter cubed. G is of course 9.81 meters per second squared. A, the area of the triangle is 4 squared plus 3 squared root of that will be 5, so the height of the triangle is 5 times half the base is 5. 5 meters squared. YC. YC is, as we saw in the derivation videos, is the distance from the origin at the top of the slope, down the slope to the uh, centroid of the shape. So in this case it's the centroid of our triangle which if we go back to the example uh, the centroid of the triangle is a third from the base, a third of the height from the base. So our height of it is 5, 5 on 3 from the base um, which leaves us 10 on 3 on the top which is the distance we need plus this distance here x, so we'll find the distance x. First we need our theta here. Theta equals inverse tan 4 on 3. Theta is that there, so subbing in uh, for sine theta equals 2 on x. Solving for x will get an answer of 2.5. So our yc will be 2.5 plus the distance of the centroid uh, from, the, from the vertex of the triangle and that will all add up to 35 on 6. So we've got all our terms. We know theta we just found to be uh, inverse tan 4 on 3, so sine in of inverse tan 4 on 3 equals 0.8. So we're chucking all that into our formula for FR 